All right, everyone. This is the time to talk about cosmic vector. Remember, in the last lecture, we've talked about the phage uh, vector, bacteriophage as a vector. We have talked about plasmid as a vector. So now we take the best part from the plasmid as a vector and best parts from the bacteriophage as a vector, and combining them together, we'll get cosmid as a vector. So cosmid as a vector gives us two advantages: one from the plasmid side and one from the bacteriophage side. So what is cosmid? Cosmid is kind of a hybrid vector, which is produced from the, uh, which is basically produced by taking a plasmid and also attaching cos sites in that plasmid. Because you know, placing cos sites, cos sites play a very important role. The role is that the cos site helps us to create extensive length of the DNA. So this is a complete length of the DNA, cos site, length of the DNA. cos site length of the dna cos site length of the dna this is how the whole genome or the dna that we want to uh, amplify uh, produced multiple times and they are all connected by this cos sites okay they are all connected by this cos sites so what will happen after some time is that the cos sites utilizing cos sites we can package these individual fragments we can package these individual fragments of the dna Okay, and once we can package these individual fragments of the DNA, and we these fragments of the DNA after packaging can be released uh, for the process of you know amplification. So we call it as an amplification or molecular cloning. So host cell we use for cosmid is E. coli bacteria as a host cell. The DNA sequence that we use in case of uh, the cosmid vector is taken from lambda phage. So that's what we the DNA sequences we took is from the lambda phage. the host cell that will use e coli and the insert size capability for cosmid remains the same that is for the phage that is 35 to 45 kilo bases the components of the cosmid what are the components the antibiotic resistance gene which is taken from the plasmid so remember different sections or different important property or parameters of the cosmid is taken either from plasmid or from the bacteriophage so antibiotic resistance gene which is typically ampicillin resistance gene is is from plasmid is taken from plasmid multiple cloning site is also present origin of replication is also taken from the plasmid and there are two cos sites are taken from bacteriophage the two cos sites are required in the 5 prime direction of the both the strands in the opposite uh, pole so that with the help of the two cos site they can contact with each other and the hydrogen bond can form self ligate and what they form is a from linear dna to a circular dna it's very important because we are talking about cosmid so it looks very similar to that that of a plasmid that of a plasmid and when we talk about a plasmid it's a double stranded circular dna circular dna double stranded circular self replicating dna okay remember that double stranded circular self replicating dna okay and now this is a picture so let me erase all the color here all right so let's take a different color let's take a dark color this time okay so you can see what we have here as a cosmid you can see that we have origin it is ori v origin of replication okay and then what we have we have we have this cos site two cos sites cos site 1 cos site 2 and they are joined together and this joining site of cos site they have there is a restriction endonuclease site that is ma1 cleavage site and then there is antibiotic resistance gene that is placed there antibiotic resistant gene and apart from the antibiotic resistance gene we also have other uh, restriction endonuclease sites and this is eco r1 as a restriction site sma1 was another restriction site these are restriction recognition sequences so restriction enzyme recognize specific sequence and can cleave it for example sma1 we can use sma1 to cleave right between the two cos sites so as a result of which the the circular dna will become a linear dna with two cos sites in both the ends okay this is a possibility that we can reach so how the cosmid vector is used you can see this is a cosmid vector where ampicillin resistance gene in the multiple cloning site and cos sites what we do is that we can cleave in the multiple cloning site so we, if we cleave it at multiple cloning site then what we have we have two segments uh, prepared okay let's uh, let's cleave here so as a result of here cleavage two fragments are generated restriction fragment so this is this is how so one so the circular dna become linear dna after the cleavage by 
some restriction endonucleus enzyme in the multiple cloning site then this is a target dna or dna of our interest target dna or dna of interest that can be eukaryotic origin prokaryotic origin doesn't matter but this is a plasmid of prokaryotic origin so now it is incorporated it will be incorporated in the center and you can see the ligation of the nick will be done so what we can see now is the cost site will be present and this target dna is inserted another cost site is present so the idea is to put the target dna flanked by the cost sites or cost sequences in both the sites left hand side as well as right hand side of the insertion of the target sequence very very important why it is important because without this arrangement the packaging of the target dna inside the phage head is not possible so what we want to do is that we want to package the target dna or dna of our interest or gene of our interest to be packaged inside the phage head and we can only do that if our target dna or dna of interest is flanked by both the types of cos sites in both the direction left hand side and right hand side so now what happens exactly is that during packaging this cos sites will come close to each other and let's say this is a cos site this is another cos site and they will fuse so after some time what we'll get is that this portion is packaged into the phage head and rest of the structure this is the this is the dna again become linear dna remain as linear dna here okay that is the idea and once the process is done the the, the phage is uh, been read the phage is ready phage is, is phage head is packaged with the target dna then it can infect the bacterial cell quite easily it can infect the bacterial cell once it infects the bacterial cell this dna is transferred to the bacterial cell now after moving inside the bacterial cell this dna can uh, self ligate or this dna can be recombined with the bacterial genome that's the possibility okay so that thing is always there now the biggest advantage that we have with the with this process of of cosmid is that we are utilizing this bacteriophage lambda for delivering the target dna so this process is highly effective because it's a natural process highly effective process okay so what are the advantages and disadvantages of cosmid let's see the advantages of cosmid is that large dna fragments carrying capacity is there so obviously 35 kilo bases uh, large fragments can be cloned uh, can be transferred used to establish gene libraries in lower and higher organism of course as the size or insert size capability is higher then obviously we can use and we use cosmid as a vector of choice in case of construction of genomic dna libraries uh, most of the cases the gene cloning through cosmid helps in the study of nonsense sequence in the genome of organism so as we can construct genomic dna libraries we know in genomic dna library every single gene from the whole genome of the organism is cloned okay so in this case every little detail is there in eukaryotes we know maximum part of the dna is junk it's non coding so the information regarding non coding dna of an eukaryotic organism can also be cloned or the library can also be created with cosmid as a vector and the screening of library with cosmid will be easy it becomes easy to screen uh, with the help of the cosmid or with the help of uh, if the process of gene transfer is done with cosmid and finally the disadvantage is packaging enzyme if the packaging enzyme that plays a very crucial role actually you know that uh, that structure that we discussed earlier that we have cost sites in both the both this terminal and the center we have target dna of our choice okay so this is target dna and these are the cost sites in both this uh, terminal we know that this placement is important and another important thing is the packaging enzyme the packaging enzyme's job is to package this target dna properly into the phage head and for that packaging what we need is that packaging enzyme if the packaging enzyme fail the packaging enzyme would easily fail if there is only one cos site that's why having two cos site both flanking the sequence of uh, target dna is very very important if there is only one cos site then packaging enzyme fail to package the target dna okay that is one big problem so the bacteriophage head will be missing the target dna if there is only one cos site so we need both the cos site the presence of both cos site is very very important other than that cosmid is advantageous cosmid has a best part from the plasmid it has a best part from the bacteriophage so combining together we get cosmid we can use cosmid and we we use cosmid elaborately in case of construction of 
genomic DNA libraries. Not in case of cDNA, but in case of genomic DNA library, cosmids are widely used. That's all about cosmid as a DNA vector, cosmid as a vector for gene delivery. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.